formula accurate and what is this formula not accurate? Here's my formula. This is my regression line based on this data. Now the question would be when would that prediction formula be accurate and when it would not? One of the key things we like to look at is the x values. If you look at the x values here, right? So we got the x values here. And um, the x values, if you notice, go from 17 all the way to 28. So in other words, this formula was designed to measure uh, profits when the temperature was between 17 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. We sometimes call this the scope of the x values. This, this, this formula is not designed for just any temperature, any temperature we want. It's really designed for only temperatures in this, what we call in the scope of the x values. Now, if you go outside the scope, and people love to do that, by the way, um, then the error measurements, these residuals and the standard deviation of residual errors, doesn't really apply. So this only applies if you're in the scope of the x values. So if I, like, suppose the temperature was like 0 degrees Celsius, this probably wouldn't be a formula that's going to give me very accurate uh, answers for that because it's out of the scope of the x values. We call that, by the way, extrapolation. It's very famous. Extrapolation. It's when you plug in an x value into a formula, plug in a number into a formula that the formula was never designed to handle. So you're plugging in a number that's sort of out of the scope. Uh, it's very famous in, in stats, especially in stock market. People want to know what's going to happen, you know, 20 years from now. So they want to plug in uh, a number 20 years from now and see what the, what the stock price would be 20 years from now. But again, that's usually a huge extrapolation and it's not very accurate because you're out of the, so far out of the scope of the, of the data. Okay, so if, for example, let's suppose we want to predict the profits when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Well, first of all, I'd want to think, is 25 in the scope of my x values? It looks like it is. 25 is in between 17 and 28. I think we're going to be okay, because this formula was pretty accurate. Now, how do I know it's accurate? Well, remember, last time we learned that the correlation coefficient, 0.9034, means strong positive linear correlation. In other words, this line is fitting this data rather well. Okay, so... Um, looks like the, the formula is accurate as long as we're in the scope of the x values and we're not extrapolating. So if I plug in 25 in for x in the formula and work it out, I'm going to get so 26.4 plus 18.06 times 25. Uh, make sure you do the multiplication first, then add. Gives us about a, a predicted profit for the store for that day, about $477.90. Okay, so that's kind of what we use this, a lot of these regression line prediction formulas, we use it to predict things. Now, how far off could that prediction be? Right, well, then we're going to deal with, again, the error, right? What's the prediction error? Well, we already said the average prediction error is the standard deviation of the residual errors. So as long as I didn't extrapolate and my prediction is in the scope of the x values, then this number here could be off by an average of about $37.61 because that's the standard deviation of the residual errors. So anytime you want to know how far off your predictions might be, it's already been calculated for you. That's the standard deviation of the residual errors. So in our next video, we'll be looking at using computers to calculate all this, right? Nobody wants to calculate this stuff by hand. So uh, we'll be looking at uh, some examples and, and using the computers. All right. All right, well, you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. This is Matt Show and Intro Stats.